A gun control is back in the headlines. New Jersey lawmakers now considering a bill that would allow authorities to temporarily confiscate guns from people with mental problems. And this week, the U.S. Supreme Court upheld a federal law banning gun sales to people who are actually buying the weapon for somebody else. Reaction to all that now from Frank Fiamingo, the president of the New Jersey Second Amendment Society. Frank, we welcome you back to the program. First, let's talk about the Supreme Court decision, these so-called straw purchases. Uh, your reaction to that decision? Well, no, uh, of course, you know, we're, we, I don't think there is anyone on the planet that wants people to be able to buy uh, or purchase firearms uh, to pass along to people who are, quote unquote, the bad guys. And uh, in any case where we can, uh, you know, where the law would prohibit that, I don't have a problem. But, you know, when you look at the details of this case, it's kind of uh, ironic that uh, you have one uh, individual who is completely uh, and utterly uh, qualified uh, to purchase a firearm who bought it and then gave it as a gift to another person who was completely qualified to possess and purchase a firearm, uh, I think that the problem is this. Uh, let me read you a quote from Thomas Jefferson really quickly. On every question of construction, let us carry ourselves back to the time when the Constitution was adopted. Recollect the spirit manifested in the debates, and instead of trying what meaning may be squeezed out of the text or invented against it, conform to the probable one in which it was passed. So my point in reading that is I think that uh, they're ignoring the purpose and the intent of the original uh, uh, documents and squeezing whatever meaning that they personally uh, approve of. Frank, let me ask you about the New Jersey law that's, that's uh, not law. It's a bill that's in the works right now. Uh, yeah, uh, the, the, uh, I guess the object of this is to, to try to avoid some of the tragedies we've seen around the country where uh, emotionally unstable people have access to weapons and use them in a manner that is uh, devastating, to say the least. Uh, what do you think about this piece of legislation? Again, no one, including uh, the New Jersey Second Amendment Society and the movement in general, wants to see firearms in the hands of people who are mentally disqualified. However, the devil's in the details. The way this bill is proposed currently, there's uh, no real due process for the individual who's accused. So if I don't happen to like the idea of you owning a gun and you happen to be my neighbor, what is to prevent me from, you know, uh, calling up the police and asking the judge to issue a temporary restraining order, I'm going to say that you threatened me. So you, so you need a clear set of uh, conditions that would establish some degree of mental instability or, or clear evidence of that? I would, yes, I would want to see clear evidence that the, that the individual has an opportunity to go through due process. Otherwise, basically anyone can charge anyone with anything. And that's the problem. So the devil's in the details. It's not that we want to see guns in the hands of mentally disqualified. We don't, of course. But you know, we don't. What we, we what we don't want to see work, uh, more than that is taking firearms out of the hands of le legally and lawfully uh, uh, qualified individuals. Frank Fiamingo, have to leave it there. Always a pleasure. Thank you for coming on the program, sir. Thank you, Michael.